Hello, kids. Today we will learn subtraction without regrouping. Let's read and study this problem. Sharon had 126 pencils. She gave 12 to her brother. How many pencils were left? This problem can be solved by subtraction. Let us make a number sentence. It's 126 of Sharon's pencils and 12 pencils were given to his brother. We have to subtract 12 from 126 to find the number of pencils left with Sharon. When you subtract large numbers, write the numbers in vertical form. It is easier to subtract large numbers in column. To subtract numbers, start subtracting all ones, all tens, all hundreds, and so forth. Now, let's subtract. Let's arrange the numbers first in vertical form. Make sure that the place value of the digits are lined up. Subtract all the numbers starting from the right to left, beginning with the ones, then the tens, until the last given place value. We have learned in the past lesson that we can use subtraction to compare two objects. To find the number of pencils left, we subtract. Look at the two ways we can do subtraction. First, the long method. Write 126 in expanded form. Write 12 in expanded form. 126 equals 100 plus 20 plus 6. Minus 12 equals 10 plus 2. Subtract the number in the ones place first. 6 minus 2 equals 4. Write 4 in the ones place. Next, subtract the tens digits. 20 minus 10 equals 10. Then, the hundreds place. There is no hundreds digit in the subtrahend, so bring down 100. Get the value of 100 plus 10 plus 4, and that is 114. Next, short method. Write the numbers in columns. Start subtracting from the ones and then the tens until the last given place value. So, 6 minus 2 equals 4. 2 minus 1 equals 1. Then bring down 1 since there is no hundreds digit in the subtrahend. The answer is 114. There are three parts in subtraction sentence. Menuent, subtrahend, and difference. In 126 minus 12 equals 114, 126 is the menuent, 12 is the subtrahend, and 114 is the difference. Menuent is the number we subtract from. Subtrahend is the number we subtract. Difference is the answer in subtraction. The minus sign is the symbol in subtraction. Always remember, when you subtract large numbers, write the numbers in vertical form. It is easier to subtract large numbers in column. Arrange the numbers first in vertical form. Make sure that the place value of the digits are lined up. Subtract all the numbers starting from the right to left, beginning with the ones, then the tens until the last given place value. That's all kids. I hope you enjoy learning. See you next time. Bye.